Okay, so now we're ready for insulation, and we're just going to be adding insulation to our walls. So go ahead and go to Layer Properties, create a new layer, call this one Insulation. And then we're going to give the insulation layer a pink color. Press OK. And also make sure that your XYZ coordinate system, click on it once and then click on the center, uh, is facing the plane you want to draw on. So I'm going to click on this piece of wood. And make sure the X and the Y are like facing this, this direction. Uh, and if you can kind of see the grid system, that's where I'm going to be drawing on. So I'm going to try to rotate it so you can see that grid system. Uh, it's cutting right there at the front here. Okay, so looking at the, the front, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw out, to the best of my ability, one of the pieces of insulation. So it's going to look something like that. I think it was not quite as high up as I wanted it to be, so I'm just going to adjust it a little. So it looks like that. Uh, I'm going to use the extrude command to extrude it out. And we're going to extrude it out 4 inches, so point. 3-4 units, and it's going to look something like that. Okay, lastly, I'm going to select it, make sure it's part of the insulation layer, and now we have one of our pieces of insulation. So we're going to kind of copy this. We're just going to move it in place, but it's going to take a little bit of editing also. Uh, so just move it into each, you know, each area that it belongs to. And if it's a little bit off, that's fine. Um, here it's going to be a little bit off, so I'm actually going to copy it from a different angle. I'm going to copy it from here and move it into that corner. Uh, and I guess we need a couple for down here as well. So just do the best you can uh, to get that insulation in place. And once you've done that, you should be able to select them and then use the, uh, the blue dots to kind of uh, get them in place. So you can move it, adjust it, uh, and just get them to fit to you know where they need to fit into. Okay, and this is the this is pretty much the entire process. So uh, once you think you have the hang of it, all you need to do is continue to fill out. Uh, the other walls, like that. Okay, uh, and I need, I guess, some sections over here. That's going to be a little more tricky, um, but I'll just copy these ones. Whoops, I should not have clicked from there. Copy this and this. I'll do both at once. Enter and bring these up there. Then select them and move them into place. Okay, so I'm going to continue this process. Once you feel comfortable doing this, you don't need to watch the video anymore. Just, uh, just continue with it. And uh, I'll see you for the next part. Okay, peace. It wasn't. Okay, so since we have one side, let's just use the copy command. And we're going to just try to copy this to the other side. Uh, enter. And we just need a point. So I'm going to choose this edge, I guess. I'm going to move it over to the other edge. Which poses a problem because you can't see the other edge. But it's right there. Okay. Uh, and it, you can see that it copied it, but it's sticking out four inches or so. That's totally fine. I just need to select it all again. Uh, and this time, I'm going to click the move command, enter, and I'm going to select this edge going into 
that edge. So let's take a look. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, you can select this as well, or select the top of it while holding control, and then you're going to see that red dot, and you could click on it and just stretch it to the top of the part. Mm -hmm. So same with this, hold control, click that, and stretch it upward. Okay, so it looks like it grabbed that one as well. Okay, so two sides done. Let's get the other two, and then we're good. You'll have to move your XYZ. So select that, click on the center, move it over to this area here. Make sure the X and the Y are facing the right direction. And then use the either yeah, the rectangle tool, enter, and you're gonna want to draw out a rectangle. Whoops. Let me try that again. Okay, so just make sure the X and the Y are facing the right direction, and I'm just going to look straight at it uh, and use the rectangle tool at this way and just draw it out uh, this way. I won't make any mistakes unless I drew it in the front, but no, I drew it in the right side. Okay, use the extrude tool, enter. Uh, and try to select that rectangle. But if it's difficult to do, turn off your uh, your wall system for a second, and then extrude out the rectangle. A total of 0.34 units. And then once you've done that, uh, feel free to turn on your wall system again. And then you're going to have to kind of go through, just like we did before, and copy these around. So copy this, enter, and just use the corner as a reference and put it in place. There's a small possibility you're going to click on front. Uh, that happens, so if I rotate this, you're going to notice that it actually created it out there. Totally fine. Uh, that happens. Select them. Use the move tool, and I'm going to move that corner over to the corner it needs to fit in, which is that corner over there. Okay, so taking a look, that's looking good. Now it's just a matter of uh, adjusting them such that they match the walls that they're supposed to be going on. Okay, this last one looks like it's going to be a little bit stubborn. That's perfectly fine. Select your XYZ coordinate system and just move it on top of this part. And then look straight at it with the view cube. And you should just be able to grab it, move it out of the way. And we're going to take a look. It seems fine. Uh, so try selecting it and holding down the shift key, clicking on one end. And see if you can click it and move it in at all. And if you can, awesome. Let's take a look at that. Um, I don't know if it did anything. It doesn't actually look like it did anything. But let me try and moving it back in place and I guess we'll find out. So use the move command, select this, enter. Select the top point and move it over here to the top point. It does look like it adjusted it just about the right amount I needed it. So I'm cool with that. OK, uh, select all the pieces, switch them over to the insulation layer, and then use the copy command, enter. And we're going to need to select the reference point. So I guess I'm going to select to start this corner. And I'm going to move them all the way over to this corner over here, if it lets me select it. OK, 
Okay, so I created a copy. It's kind of in front of the door right now, but that's fine. Uh, we're just using this to get us started, and then we're going to move these into place. So use the move command, enter, and we're going to move this point over this point. Press escape a few times. Take a look. Everything's looking great. Almost. <laughs> Got to patch up a few things here, but now it's just a matter of copying a few more rectangles and making a match. Okay, so I'm actually going to, uh, what do you say, uh, change the color of the ones in the back because that's actually going to make it easier for me to see the different layers. So when I look at it, or I guess, yeah, it's a little hard to see. Oh, let's see if I can change these as well temporarily. Okay. There we go.
Okay.